Moon in Sagittarius, the home of the brave and controversial. So what is the moon? Well, the moon is your intuition. It's what you are at your core. It's more true to your heart than your sun sign. The sun sign is like an outfit you wear. The moon, it's your natural instincts that you bring with you from a past life. People that know you really well are gonna know these things about you. However, with a Sagittarius moon, because Sagittarius is such a fiery sign, usually the traits of it permeate through so that even if you don't know somebody super well, you can still see these Sagittarius moon traits coming through. They really don't hide it. I think of the phrase, if you love them, set them free. And this is very true for a Sagittarius moon. They're not so much against having a long-term monogamous relationship, but it's just that they want it to be with that right person and they'll wait as long as it takes to find that person. They believe that love should never be jealous, that love does not come from fear. Fear is actually the opposite. They are right. If you love them, set them free, trust them. Crazy concept, huh? They are going to require complete and utter trust from you. And in return, you're gonna get their brutal and blunt, but also rewarding honesty. You can't handle the truth. Okay, well some people can handle the truth. And the Sagittarius moon will love you more for it. Because they are right after the Scorpio moon, they are the most positive sign. That doesn't mean it's all gonna be telling you what you wanna hear and moonbeams and stars. Actually, quite the opposite. A Sagittarius moon, unlike a Sagittarius sun, they don't have a shut off valve. You know how Sagittarius is always after the truth and wisdom, their opinions they hold very close and dear to their heart. Well, a Sagittarius moon, if they know something to be true and everyone in the whole world disagrees with them, they're still gonna move forward with it. That's just the kind of bravery or insanity that you can expect from one. There's this TV show called No Tomorrow, and this is completely and utterly a Sagittarius moon. Not only does the main character have an idea that is like the most negative thing, but he turns it into the most positive thing in his life, like a Sagittarius moon being so positive, but also no one believes him. So he doesn't seem to mind that. He just goes forward with it. Actually, by being brutally honest with everyone, their lives turn out better for it. Sagittarius moons, give that show a whirl. See what you think. And so just like that show, Sagittarius moons can deal with things like family members' death, something that's just really severe and heavy. And instead of seeing it as a negative, they actually turn it into a positive because that's their optimism shining through. They can take the most horrible situation and turn it into something brilliant. And if you're a parent of a Sagittarius moon, well, good luck controlling them because they have their own identity and it's very strong and their own opinions. It really won't matter what you tell them or how you try to control them because ultimately this is a position that is unique and they will persevere. They will be true to themselves no matter what. They are wild at heart. So when I think of the tiny house movement, I think of a Sagittarius moon because moon represents home and Sagittarius is all about freedom and nature and the wild and everything that comes with it. The tiny house movement totally fits their mentality. They could save all that extra money and they could use that for traveling the world. So the world becomes their home. Being a fire sign, their heart, their moon, their emotion is very passionate, idealistic, and creative. They are one of a kind. And unlike most people where they want their home to be cozy, their sanctuary, their retreat from the world, to a Sagittarius, well, the world is their home. And the more adventures and the more new experiences they can have, the better. They love a good challenge. They almost never back down from a challenge. Because they're a fire sign, they believe in the impossible. See, fire signs being the first of the elements, they have a connection to spirituality that other signs might be more hesitant to accept or they wanna rationalize it. But for a fire sign, they just believe. Like, they believe there is life after death. They believe that there is an answer that is beautiful. They believe in the truth. Once they know something to be true, they don't have to see it. They can have faith in something if it feels right. The fire element being the first element, it's kind of like how a baby, because of their youthfulness, a lot of people say that they see things, like they see another world or a parallel universe and they'll be reacting to it. And then as we get older, we don't see it as much. And so the fire signs, they have that innately. They are extremely generous. So Sagittarius moons, watch out that you don't get taken advantage of. One of the downsides is you guys are very impatient. Great things take a while, and a lot of Sagittarius moons just don't have the ability to wait. 
So yes, adventure is great, challenges are great, but also remember that with time comes great reward. Don't be afraid of a challenge that just takes longer. So let's see, Sagittarius moons are creative, talented, unique, free spirits, wild at heart. What's the downside? Well, this is where the controversy comes in. Let's name some famous Sagittarius moons, shall we? Well, we've got Donald Trump, Charlie Sheen. I mean, these guys are never controversial, right? We also have Einstein and Beethoven. What do these guys have in common? Well, at their time, they were all very controversial. They had a truth that they had to convince millions of people about, and some actually did. Sagittarius moons are great teachers because they are attracted to knowledge and wisdom and they want to share it. Actually, they have trouble not sharing it, to be honest. But because of their enthusiasm and their creative way of going about things, they're actually quite entertaining. Whatever they're talking about, they have a way of making it sound and feel very fun. And you want to learn what they have to say. Sagittarius moons can come across as a know-it-all, which can rub people the wrong way. Unlike a Sagittarius sun, they really have no ability to stop themselves. That impulsive nature of the fire, of the blunt honesty, is in the moon position, which is just emotional. They have no tact. It's like a faucet that's turned on, and it's just gonna go. Now, if you like complete honesty, this is the sign for you. Okay, so can you hear that? That's my cat purring. She's really loud. All right, Sagittarius moons, it was a pleasure. Come back for my next video, which is gonna be the moon in Capricorn. Subscribe.